Shalom, this is a new Yeshurim Israel at Hebron Island 2. I want to say hello to my past subscribers if you're watching this video. I'm back. I don't know how for how long, but I'm back. Uh, that blog talk thing I was trying to do, it's not working out. The guy's not making it for me. But, you know, as our scriptures say, the scriptures only belong to the Israelites, which are the niggas that have been scattered to the four corners of this flat earth and no other people group. Our scriptures say in, in Proverbs 20, and I'm paraphrasing, a man's going is of the Most High. How can a man understand his ways? Jeremiah 10 says, a man's ways is of the Most High. Psalm 37 says, a good man's steps is ordered by the Most High. And the Most High, he is the one who directs everything, approves everything. So that blog talk thing is not really working out for me. And guess what? I'm back on YouTube. So maybe he wants me here. I don't know for how long, but I want to be faithful in whatever endeavor, in whatever direction he puts me in. And what I want to focus this channel now on for whatever time I have to do this channel is just to teach the law, you know, because the, the heathens, and I'm not going to say which racial group because they're all sensitive now. You know, game is on. You know, they're classifying the Israelites or the Yeshurites as the most violent people in the world, which is all lies from Satan. All the Israelites want to do is love the Most High, love His law, and love the Negro. Everybody... If, if we don't love the Negro, which is the true biblical, physical Israelite only, who will? The Most High says we have, King David said it really good in, in, in Psalms 25. He said to the Most High, consider my enemies for they are many. They're calling us terrorists. We're not terrorists. We never killed anybody, hung anybody, shot anybody, did anything. We only... Loving ourselves, loving the Most High's law. They stripped us and stole everything away from us. Now we're getting it back. Now it's game on. And they're t starting the game up. So on this channel right now, I'm just going to teach my people, teach your people how to live more righteous. It says in Daniel 12, 3, and I'm paraphrasing, it says, those that gain wisdom shine as bright as the ferment. Those that turn people to righteousness shine as bright as the stars forever and ever. That's all we have to worry about and do. The Most High is going to take care of all our enemies like he did to King David. That are unmercifully, unjustly accusing us, pointing finger, fingers at us, convicting us. And we're not doing anything but keeping the Most High's law. There's no violence at here at all. So I have this title, you can get with this or you can get with that. The reason why I'm doing this, because this, my video, my, my, my channel is directed to Torah and Tanakh based Israelites only. But anybody else wants to watch, you can watch. But it's for us, the Bible, and I'm talking about the New Testament because that's fake. Your Jesus is fake. All that stuff is created so you can keep breaking the laws of the Most High and keep being His adversary. You Christians and Messianic Hebrews can't get out of the first three commandments. Have no other Elohim before Him. Do not, do not make any graven images on the earth, in the heavens, and in the seas. And on the earth, you're making them in your mind, saying that there's a Jesus Yahweh side. When the Most High said, He is the Savior alone. Beside Him, there's no Savior. But you keep saying there's another savior. So this channel is a Torah and Tanakh based channel alone. You can get with this or you can get with that. This is the Most High alone. His law alone. Jeremiah 6.16 Ask for the old path which is the good way and walk therein. As Joshua said in Joshua 1 it says, be strong and of good courage. Meditate on the Most High's law day and night. Don't turn to the left or the right. Then you will prosper and have good success. This is all what the Israelites is about. Not about taking over 
uh, countries and any coup d'etats. It's all lies to, you know, psyops and false flags to try to demean us, to get the whole society, which is basically already against us. As King David says, consider my enemies, Most High, for they are many. And the Most High made it that way. He's going to solve this problem. And it's on the horizon. And you know it. The heathens know it. You can get with this or you can get with that. See, in this video, I'm going to tell you why you need to hurry up and get with this stuff that I'm getting ready to talk about. Not with that stuff. And that stuff is the Luciferian mindset of this world. This world, it says in Job 9.24, and the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. It says in, in Psalm 37, I see the wicked in great power spreading themselves like a green bay tree. What countries on this earth is in every person's land with embassies and military bases, with their economics, with their philosophy, world Lucifer and philosophy, corrupting everything, going opposite of everything that the Most High has said. You know who it is. I'm not mentioning any names because everybody's sensitive. The heathens are sensitive. So I won't go there. I'm going to teach you guys the law. Forget about them. Their fate is sealed. The heathens. I didn't mention no racial group. Stop being sensitive. If you're a heathen, just accept it. The Israelites are the Negroes only. So Israelite, I'm talking to you. I'm going to tell you why you need to get with this. And the program is Ecclesiastes 12, 13. For the, I'm paraphrasing, for the conclusion of the whole matter, for the sole purpose of man is to fear the Most High and keep the commandments. That's all you have to do. And that's all you have to do. And the man they're talking about is not every man on the planet, only the Israelites. The Bible, the, forget to say the Bible, I'm going to be more specific. The Tanakh, which is the law the Nevin, which is the prophets, and the Ketuvin, which are the writings. It's the Old Testament from Genesis to Malachi. That is the scriptures, nothing else. You can get with this or you can get with that, the false stuff, the Luciferian stuff, the stuff that can't get you out of the first three commandments. You can get with that if you want, not here at the Hebrew on the island too, and not my dedicated followers. I'm back. Thank the Most High. So this is why we're in this situation I'm going to briefly go over, you know it, but I'm going to take you to a scripture maybe that you haven't read in a while. And I'm going to give you the solution, the this solution that the Most High told us to do. So we won't have to worry about any news flash, major newspapers. Oh, the Israelites are this. They're doing that even though we ain't doing nothing but reading the Bible and loving Negro people. That's what we're doing. We ain't doing no violence. I'm telling you, Hebrews, get with this. This is the program that is going to save us. Because we definitely need saving from the, the devil. Remember, you don't have to die to see the devil. The devil is just right around you, in your neighborhood, at your job. <laughs> All over at motor vehicles, at Walmart. Uh, when you're driving on the road, everywhere. The devil's there. You don't have to go to the hell. And hell is a condition anyway to see the devil. You just look around. The most high made physical devils walking around. Come with me to Jeremiah 17. I'm not posting it because I want my subscribers to open up their Tanakh. Get a Tanakh if you don't have one. Because that King James Version, believe me, when you look at some scripture and when you go into, remember, the King James Version, don't listen to those ABC camps. A lot of them are bought off. A lot of them are going to get you to be an adversary of the Most High because they're going to get you reading in that new fake demonic New Testament, Apocrypha and all those other books and saying Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that's blasphemous. The Most High said in Isaiah 42, he said, I do not give my glory to no one. I don't share my praise with no idols or anything. He ain't sharing anything. Messianic Hebrews is making the Most High share his glory. Don't follow them. Don't follow Christians. Don't follow heathens. You can get with this or you can get with that. I'm going to be just getting into laws on this channel. Forever, however long the Most High wills. 
and, I, and I'm not going to show you, buy a Tanakh because in other videos later down the road I'm going to show you when you read the King James Version and look what it says in the Tanakh which is the direct translation from the Hebrew. So you say, oh well, it's not the correct Hebrew, it's the Hebrew that we got available. We only can use what we got available. The Most High will understand everything else. But that trans King James Version is good everywhere outside of the places where they're trying to paint Jesus into the Old Testament or Black Yahushua, which is false, fake, demonic. So, you know, get a Tanakh, an English version Tanakh. I have one. Go on Amazon or eBay. You can get one easy. Okay. Come with me, and I'm not going to show it to you on screen because you need to open it. All you have to do is watch this video, go get your Tanakh or your, your King James if you have it, and, and read it. Pause the video, come back to it another time. I'm going to tell you why you need to get with this. This is what I'm going to tell you why you need to get with this, how we got to this, and the solution to this. You can get with this. You can get with that. Jeremiah 17, starting in verse 1. I'm going to read several verses. Follow along. And on the horns of their altars, while their children remember their altars and sacred posts by verdant trees upon lofty hills, because of the sin of your shrines throughout your borders, Israelites, I will make your temp bar a heap in the field and all your treasures a spoil. You will forfeit by your own act the inheritance I have given you. This is what the Most High is telling the Israelites. I will make you a slave to your enemies. We have many slaves as King David says. Just look around you. I will make you a slave to your enemies. In a land you have never known, for you have kindled the flame of my wrath, which shall burn for all times. This is why we need to get with this. It's going to tell us more how we can get with this. I'm telling you how we got to this. Because our forefathers did this thing that I just read in Jeremiah 17. And, and a lot of our people, the two-thirds, are doing them now. They got their black Negro churches. They got their white Jesus. They got their black Yahweh Shai Jesus. Giving, making shrines, making cakes to the queen of heaven. Giving the praise and the glory of the most high to a fake image idol. Call it Jesus, a black Yahweh Shai. People think that an image, a graven image is just something you make out of gold, silver, bronze, stone, wood. No, it's not just that. You can form images in your mind. That's what you, a lot of you Negroes don't understand. All them Hebrew fake camps got the image of Black Yahweh, which is fake Jesus. Just a chocolate-covered version of white Jesus. And they try to think they got a new thing. No, you're still with the, the bad thing, the new path. You got those shrines made. Throughout your borders. So the Most High says he is going to make your heap in a field and all your treasures spoil. And that's what he has done. We have forfeited. That's why we got the slaves ruling over us. Let's go to verse 5 in Jeremiah 17. Thus say the Most High, curse is he who trusts in man, who makes mere flesh his strength. And listen, I'm going to read that again. Because that's why we need to get with this. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Thus saith the Most High, Curse is he who trusts in man, who makes more, makes mere flesh his strength, and turn his thoughts from the Most High. See, that's why we need to get with this. Jeremiah 17. Because a lot of you, and sometimes me, we count on our own strength to fight the heathens. We can't pick up arms and fight them because the Most High made it where they are. the slaves will rule over us 
in our captivity, in our punishment. The only way Israel won is when the Most High was with him. He's not with us now. He's with us individually here and there, you know, and so forth and so on, but not as a nation group. And I'm telling you, explaining it why in Jeremiah 17. Turn to it and read it on your own. And why we keep going through these things and having a lot of failures in our individual life is when we read Jeremiah 17, 5, we are doing this thing that we shouldn't do. We should do the other this. The other this is Jeremiah 17, 5. We should be opposed to that and do Jeremiah 17, 7. Let me finish. Thus saith the Most High, curse is he who trusts in men. A lot of you trust in your cousins, your other Hebrews, yourself. He said, curse. That's why you're not, you're not reaching the blessed state that Joshua said in Joshua chapter 1. Be strong and of good courage. Meditate on the Most High's Lord day and night. Don't turn to the left or the right. Then you will prosper and have good success. That's why you're still cursed because you trust in man, yourself, or another man. Who, or you make your flesh as if it's strong. And that then becomes your God or your, your idol, your trust. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is he who trusts in the Most High. Who trusts is the Most High alone. You can get with this or you can get with that. Your own flesh trusting in. Your own strength you're trusting in. In other men or yourself. You can go with that. I'm going to tell you you're going to be cursed. Jeremiah 7, 17, 7. Blessed is he who trusts in the Most High, whose trust is the Most High alone. That's when you will prosper and have good success, even in our captivity. We're going to have trials and plagues and so forth, but the Most High is going to bless us. And listen, I'm going to end with this, these two things. Jeremiah 17, 3. If you don't get with this... This also is going to happen to you. Jeremiah 17, verse 13. Those in the land who turn from you, the Most High, shall be doomed men. See, that's the, Jeremiah 17 is telling you, do you want to get with that stuff? That stuff that is going to doom you? Jeremiah 17, 13. Those in the land who turn from you, the you is the Most High, shall be doomed men. Jeremiah 17, 5, thus saith the Most High, cursed is he who trusts in man, who makes mere flesh his strength and turns his thoughts from the Most High. Do you want to get with this or do you want to get with that? You know what I'm telling you? Decide. Don't um, have this defeated attitude or weak attitude where you give up so quick. Be strong. Remember the scriptures. It says in Deuteronomy 4, I'm paraphrasing, in the law, it says, Moses says, I brought you these illustrious laws, statutes and commandments and to know his judgments. Do this in sight of the nations. It will be your wisdom in, in, in sight of the nations. It says in Proverbs 28, I'm paraphrasing, it says, um, uh, evil men understand not the judgments of the Most High, but those that seek the Most High understand all these things. Then you're going to understand Psalm 34, 20 and see it in your life. Then it's not, you're not going to be perplexed. It says in Psalm 34, 20, though the misfortune of the righteous and the righteous are only Israelites because we strive to keep the law. All the heathens don't keep the law. They are not the righteous. They're the unjust, the evil, the wicked. I didn't mention any race. Stop being sensitive, he, heathens. Psalm 34, 20. You don't know who I'm talking about. Psalm 34, 20. Though the misfortune of the righteous be many, the Most High will save him from them all. You got to strive to keep the laws each day, 24-7. You do it. Be an example to other Israelites. 
Be a walking example of the law. Then you will prosper and have good success. Then you won't be cursed and doomed. So Israelite, the question is, are you going to get with this or are you going to get with that? This is a new Yeshurun Israel at Hebron Island 2. Until next time, next time.